Hello folks, I'm Ultra Zone to Ever, view of the Diamond Select Toys, San Diego Comic Con from last year, uh, Transformers Mini Mates in Animation Colors. That's right, my Zillions, we got a special PX San Diego 2022 set sent over by our good friends at DST, and I do appreciate that. Hope you've enjoyed the mini mates reviews we've done i've done them all back to back here and that's okay um because uh, you know they deserve a little back to back action um you know it's fun i appreciate dst for sending these you know all these guys man i i, I really shout out dst super seven feeding that power rangers feeding that transformers uh, part of me you know like this is awesome stuff so yeah i do appreciate you guys all sending me this stuff this is awesome mini mates from last year's sdcc i did not get them uh beforehand um but here they are in the package nice little slip case cover obviously it's done like a vhs cover which is awesome dst video be kind please rewind and there they are we're gonna look at those in a second look at this this is nice look at that two night rental i gotta send this back i can't believe it i think i'm gonna have to pay some late fees there anywho back off megatron the autobots are here surrender fool earth is mine for the taking so without any further ado let's get to the review get to the figures they all come with this little standy if you've seen one you've seen them all so there Optimus you go and that. megatron we do get their energon axe and energon ball and chain you just have to uh you know pop off their hands and you can pop these on you know they're cool orange purple very nice Optimus. Stuff. here he is he looks pretty awesome in these colors really like it i love 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 his chest very nicely done the whole thing there looks really good for sure i love uh the yellow here at his belt section that looks awesome the arms look pretty good the pipes look good the autobot symbol looks good as you can see he's got his ion cannon in his hand and that is very nicely done as well the back is not bad yeah it's a little choppy but it's fine the feet look pretty good the sides here the front there all painted in that's cool or drawn in uh you know a little line art there but yeah this looks really good i like the head sculpt it's pretty decent not so bad yeah it's a little optimist guys it's another little optimist and i like it i like it in these colors so it's pretty good oh and articulation the head moves the shoulders move if you've never seen these they're all the same the hinge uh, at the elbow moves, of course. That's why it's a hinge. The uh, little hands move like so. You can't go too far out, but you can swivel it like right there. You see that? Uh, which keeps wanting to do that on me every time. Kicks forward, goes back, goes out a little bit. And then uh, you got a nice knee bend. So, you know, all these guys have the same articulation, give or take, you know, um... You know, maybe some shoulder stuff. I think, like, Starscream probably has a little bit of, you know... Eh, it's, it's not so bad. Oh, but yeah, he, he uh, his helmet is popping off. But, uh, yeah, there's Starscream's head. He's got a very dark face. But, you know, it looks pretty good. You know, it looks pretty good. I do like it. He's got the little Starscream smirk, and I appreciate that so much. The chest looks pretty good as well. The arms with the little blasters looks awesome. Do you dig that? On the back here, see the Decepticon symbols upside down. That's perfect. The bottom of the feet has those little thrusters. That's nice. In the front, you've got some blues. Love the chest and the reds and the oranges. It's all looking pretty good on Starscream. I like his wings as well on the front and on the back. So yeah, this is this is sweet. This we is got really Bumblebee, sweet. and I really like his head sculpt. It's really good. I'm really, I'm honestly, <laughs> not the biggest fan of G1 Bumblebee, but I like how uh, DC did his face here, and I think it's really cool. So I really like that. I like his helmet. I like the front of his chest. The big Autobot symbol looks great. The blues around there look really nice. He's got a little little itsy bitsy gun, and it's totally fine. I like his arms good enough. 
his Krajiji section, you got the black on the legs, you got the yellow and black and gray feet, which look really good, the little, you know, wheels there. Very nice, he's got his little um, X extra, you know, tire in the back. That looks really good. So yeah, spare tire. Um, yeah, I, I think this little guy looks really nice. And last but not least, we got Megatron, and he's got his giant blaster there. That looks good, and he's got this thing here. That's totally fine on his back. You do have to attach that, and uh, yeah, don't don't mistake that for that. I uh, just just letting you know it's, it's a thing that might happen. It, <laughs> it's a thing that could happen. Uh, his arms look pretty good. The chest looks really nice. I do like it. I like all the colors there. The uh, purple for the Decepticon symbol, and the blues and the reds and the yellows all look good. It's a good sculpt. The uh, legs look pretty good. I'm going by this really fast because I've reviewed these guys once before in their, you know, regular metallic colors, which is beautiful. But I like these guys as well, so very nice. I think Megs looks good. Oh, yeah, the head sculpt is, oh, we went the wrong way. The head sculpt is pretty good. I do dig it. A little choppy at the side of his uh, mask there, but otherwise, that's mask, his helmet. Otherwise, I think it's nice. Like so I'm just going to keep it real simple on this one. Uh, here are their counterparts from Series 1. There were two more of these, uh, Shockwave and... What was the last one? Was it Soundwave? Soundwave and Shockwave were the last two of these guys. Um, for Series 1, uh, for the SDC set, they only did the four, um, which is fine, which is fine. But they all look awesome. I really do like them, whether they're, you know the metallic versions of the regular series or the animation of uh the sdcc i think they're both very very cool so i i dig them i really dig oh, them correction oh. there and the size comparisons megatron actually just came in series two uh not just i was out for a while but i just reviewed it like i should i should have known that um megatron was in series two and shockwave was in series one instead of megatron so it was the, the other three figures and Shockwave, not Megatron. So, eh, there you go. They were, they were four uh, in each set. I, I don't know why. I thought they were six. <sighs> and my final thoughts. Fun set. Always a fun set. I love reviewing these mini mates. They just bring me joy. They're just cute to look at. I just like what DST does with them. Um, so, good stuff. I mean, to have these guys in animation colors is very cool, too. I wonder if they're going to do more like this. That's the thing that makes me wonder. Uh, maybe, you know, SDCC this year will be cool. Maybe NYCC. Who knows? Um, I, I would like to see more. I would like to see more of these guys and these colors. I do like the metallics, though, on the regular ones. I think the metallics are beautiful. Uh, but these are cool. These are cool. And I'm glad they flipped it. You know, you would think the metallics would be, you know, the special sets. Uh, but I'm glad we get those because those are really, really, really good looking um, and they really pop. So, uh, but these guys are fun. These guys are fun. I like the packaging. I think that's really well done. So there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Thank you, DST, for sending these all over for a review. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.